Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to go ahead and upgrade your iOS from iOS 16 to iOS 17. iOS 17 was released a few hours ago. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you go to your settings, then you go to your general, then if you're actually using your mobile data, then this is how to do it. As you can see right here, my mobile data is on, and I'll go to the software updates, and as you can see right here, it's loading, it's checking for updates. If you haven't completed any of the iOS updates, then you need to complete it in order for you to see the iOS 17 updates, alright? So once you've done that, you click on upgrade to iOS 17. So as you can see right now, it's showing iOS 17. Click on download. If you click on download and install, it's going to ask for your code if you have a code. Then once you put it in, you can see it's going to ask you for terms and condition. You just go ahead and read that and you accept the terms and condition. And you can see right now it's saying use mobile data to download. If you use mobile data to update additional fees will be charged and all that, you can say continue. Then once you click on continue, you can see it's saying update requested. Alright, so it's requesting for the updates. So once it's done, it will be able to install. Alright, so right now as you can see on my screen, update the iOS 17 is already updating with my mobile data. Alright, you can see plus like that. So this is how you can actually go ahead and download iOS 17 on your iPhone with your mobile data. You don't need to do any additional changes like having to change your data, having to change your data time. But if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and change your your time zone by setting changing from the set automatically to changing the time. You can tweak the time to something higher, right, or lower. You can say maybe you can go back in time or you can go forward. Let's say. You can go to maybe 2030, let's say maybe 30, um, then 2032, then do it like this. Then you can come back and come back to software updates, and you should be able to update. It's that easy.